I was no exaggeration. So this year you need a person. But among the miracles we need this year, we need salvation of people. We need people to be saved. What can you gain? Sleeping in that big house. And you have a husband who is always drunk like and hungover. Let's pray for them to be saved. What gain can you get? If your children are going to go to America for studies, and, and they go, when they come back home, they go to the island. I'm here, I'm going to proclaim this. Salvation is good. Salvation is integrity. There is nothing as good as salvation. Uh, we are lost. So, you lost. Lost. so when you start faking the, in, in things of God, God brings a replay. So you need to be true even in your weakness. Be true to God. God loves the weak people that continue. Some people in the and they think they are playing pastors. You're playing yourself. God knows why you're here. I want to tell you whatever we saw, we shall reap. I remember I used to go and pray. I had things of people who had betrayed me and I said, God, I've never betrayed someone. Why are someone betrayed me? Hallelujah! Hallelujah. <laughs>
A big round of applause to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Iman Ibahu Mudisha. Beg up Jesus. Amen. 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 Iman Ibahu Mudisha. Iman Ibajire Neza Chani Chani. God bless you very much. Welcome you to the fourth day of the 21 days. It's the fourth day. It's been three days ago. Welcome you from the ends of the world. Welcome you with a round of applause. Tumaze Mr. Tutwiga kuri introduction cyangwa se tuvuga um kubijyanye na na sounding miracles. In the last 3 days we've been talking about sounding miracles. Dushaka gusasa kugira ngo tutazabyitiranya. We are laying a foundation so that you might not confuse stuff. Because what God is yet to do he will do it. Nashaka kubwira ko iteme twayihawe n'Imana. I want to tell you this theme was given to us by God. And God will do it. But God wants you to be someone who discerns between voices. Yeah, Several things that can happen. But you surely discern which things have been done by who. The world, the planet of the earth and everything that fills it is from the Lord. But sometimes the devil takes credit. And sometimes he takes advantage of them. Before your time comes and you force your ways otherwise. Everything that goes through a shortcut has repercussions. I'll not fear to say that. You might have a joy for a little while, but it won't last. But what God has created, what God created himself, even though all the sorcerers of the world come together, and they want to abort that womb that won't be aborted. Amen. Even though all the sorcerers of the world come together, and they wanted to destroy your wedding, they will not follow through. Because they don't know where it started. Everything rooted in God, it's rooted in God. Means. It's rooted in Hallelujah. God. They cannot discern it. So what God is going to do? They normally interrupt things, but you won't interrupt this one. Because God has done it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I welcome you to the first key. A big, big hand to the Lord. The first key, I love it. It's called the upper room. If you want to see sounding miracles, you need the upper room. You need the upper room. This is a room that creates things before they are created. This is a room that bathes things that haven't been born yet. Some of the things you see, you see the confidence prayer warriors have. How many have noticed? Not the prideful ones. The, the real prayer warriors. Hallelujah. They dwell somewhere. You cannot threaten them. If you try to threaten them, it's wasted your time. That's where Mordecai dwelt. Mordecai, umugabo tuko hamani yashe kumuterugo. Asanga ba mchumba cho hejuru ni bishoka. Someone called Haman came to threaten him, and it wasn't possible. Dashaka ubuge hallelujah. No, na uri nyoma. If you say out there, say hallelujah. 
People came and knelt down before Ariko Haman. Mordecai. But Mordecai did not disrespect God. But he only knew to kneel before God. And then when Haman passed by, he honored him. Ariko, but he didn't kneel down before him. He didn't kneel down before Kuko him. Because he had the God of Israel. Uh, the one that he found in a room where Haman could not notice. So you need to have that room even in the meetings of ministers. We need to have that room among business. public sector, religious sector. We need that room in the religious sector, public sector. We need, we need that room. We need that room. We need that room. Even the pharaohs had their own sorcerers. They had them, but they were attacked. If they were attacked, they were not sorcerers. We don't have sorcerers. We have the God we find in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will perform miracles, and they wonder where they came from. You tell them, I have a room I dwell in. I feel so happy about it. People who are working, don't be afraid. You don't need to dwell in the house for all day. But it's a mobile upper room. You can go with it. The Bible says I escaped the world of my heart. So that I may not sin against you. You might be in prayer and yet you are not in computer. And you're speaking in tongues while you're working. You're speaking in tongues while you're working. People search for you. Those who destroy your stuff, they don't search for you. Because you have the altar of God in you. Because you have the altar of God in you. You're always charged up. And you need to have the power bank Telephone with you. If your phone goes out, you have a power telephone, bank. In the vehicle, you have a charging port. Wherever you go, you have a charging port. At the airport, you have a charging port. Even the spiritual world. We have to be charged somewhere. We have to be charged. The sorcerers are charged. The enemy are touched by the power of the power of the upper room. The upper room. The upper room. This upper room has power. Hallelujah. This is the room where they took dead kids and they were resurrected. This is the room. This is the room. I want to talk about this key in depth. When people talk about the room, you think it's just about people coming together in one accord. This room had stuff. It had prayer. It had structure. structure. This room had prayer. It had structure uh, of reformation. Uh, discipleship. Uh, it had discipleship being trained. This room had everything in it. But above all, this room, someone came down. There came a sound. Sound The sound that says that when you dwell in this room, somebody say hallelujah. Even the neighbors that came to prophesy in Jerusalem, they know that someone has been Even the people that visited Jerusalem, the, the people that came for business, the Greeks, the Italians, all of the nations, they need to know that there are people who pray. In the upper room, on the day of Pentecost, let this year your Pentecost happen. May your Pentecost happen this year. May you see the goodness of the Lord this year. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us read this scripture. In the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 13, and we shall skip to 16. 
byakozwe n'intumwa mumeze neza ariko ndabasuhuje Are we okay I greet you all Basuhuje nabashitsi badusuye kandi mwagize neza I greet the visitors and you welcome You came to the right place in the right time Ah ushatse gusoma neza gato wasubira ku 12 haravuga ngo basubira i Yerusalem bavuye ku musozi wa Elayono Uri bu maze masome Uri bugufi bwi Yerusalem nk'urugendo rwo kugendwa ku isabato basohoye yo barurira uvuga ngo barurira bagiye muri ascenseur they went up. There are things that you find only if you go up. When they talk about the upper room, it's not on a lower ground. It's something that elevates you up. They went up. bajya mu cyumba cyo hejuru aho petero amazina ngaye aho petero na yohana ishiremwe nawe na yakobo na andereye na filipo na toma di wapinga gako toma ndamwemera uje ngiye mu bantu bakunda toma mbamo i'm among the people that love thomas ari gyo changanyikirwa ukavuta birakwiye ko mbyikorera Sometimes you get confused and you just want to do thing, touch things yourself. He said, I need to touch him to be sure. Jesus came the first time in his absence when he was raised. Thomas wasn't around. He had to come back to meet Thomas. And he said, Thomas. Thomas. Thomas came and touched <laughs> to see. <laughs> and he said, oh, it's you. May God bless you to touch him. So that you say, they have told me about you, but now I have seen you. And Bartholomew was in the upper room. And Matthew. James, son of Alphaeus. And Simon, Zelote, na Yuda, sign of Zelot, and, Jude, and Judah, son of James. Baba Gani, Ababa Ose, Hamge na Bagore, Hamge Neki, na Maria, Maria Nde, Maria Uhe Musome. Ariko, Baba Rira, Umusome Neza, Ndabi Zikona, Uju Senga, Buri Giton, Dotim Gara Mutse Maria. You notice that Mary Mother was in the You should greet her in the upper room. You should not greet her on the lower room. Mary Mother of Jesus was in the upper room. She all needed the power. Gusengana umwete umutima bakomeza gusengana umutima uhuye ntabwo ari ukwezi kumwe oya ntabwo ari umunsi umwe not one day bamaze imisi 10 ariko nubuzima bari bafite they spent 10 days but it was a life bakomezaga they continued to pray egabuje bagiye mu cyumba cyo hejuru they went in the upper room ariko batibuka neza and they did not remember that it would take how many days. How many programs you go Pentecost is it is a good? It wasn't a a program agenda. Uh, you know Pentecost is a 50th day. Ariko na ngo bari bazikiri bube hobe ho neza kuko baratunguwe. They didn't know what will happen. It came as a surprise. Umuri rutrutse mu ijuru warabatunguye muri cyo cyumba. And there was a fire that came from heaven and surprised. Chama na ugatungurwa muri uyu mwaka nibyiza. I hope you can be surprised this year. Basengana ku mutima uhuye. Sixteen. About hundred and twenty people had convened in that upper room. 
ibyanditswe sinshaka kubisoma byose bikwiriye gusohora ababwira ibyo umwuka wera yavugiye muri inde muri Dawidi ibyo arabivuga avuga kuri yo kuri Yuda wayobeje wayoboye abafashe Yesu byose arabivuga murumva ari gusenga cyangwa ari gusobanura umbabare mumfashe ari gusenga is he praying or is explaining muri apa rumu ntabwo basenga gusa People don't just pray. In the upper room, they understand. There are people who have things they have kept. And there are lies in them. Oh, Judas, what happened to Judas? Oh, Judas was innocent. But when Peter came to the upper room, he talked to them about the prophet David. And he brought it all down to them. He told them what the Holy Spirit said. Uh, and what he even spoke about Judas. And how Judas was a disappointment. And he told them the forest Judas was buried in. Tell your neighbor, God is going to put structure in everything you do. Amen. Amen. I know some people are here. You have different characters. Lord, we have lost it. In the upper room, bring all of your documents lined up. And then, if you are a leader in your, uh, at your place of work, you need to explain to those you lead. You need to explain to your circle. You need to strategize everything you need to do. do. The upper room was there, but it had a leader. Order in the upper room. There are miracles God is going to do if there is no order in your house. They will take you to Ndera. frustration. Uh, miracles that come in a disorderly place bring frustrations. Someone called Peter came and said, he explained, expounded on everything. First of all, he taught. Second, he proposed to people. Along with the disciples, they say that according to what you've told us, the disciples, there were those two men. I'm heading somewhere. There are two men. Peter explained After Peter had explained to them where he's buried and the people of Jerusalem knowing about it. In Jerusalem, that's where Pentecost happened. It was right that the people of Jerusalem needed to know the testimony of the disciples. So the, a person like Peter had to stand and speak. He did this in the upper room. He, he taught. He laid a, a new structure. He laid a new structure, new leaders to replace Judah. Judah is going to be replaced. Judah is going to be replaced. Judas is going to be replaced. <laughs> Judah, the bad one, the rebellious one is going to be. You're going to see what he explained about Judas. He said, he guided the people that arrested Jesus. For he was numbered with us. And obtained a part in this ministry. He was one of us. But then, now this man purchased a field with the wages of his iniquity. And for he He burst open in the middle and, and all his entrails. The entrails of Judas burst out. People Amara, are eating, who are greedy, they, they, they are entering the house. People who love Jesus. Amara jirate. Ako tufu zukuri na wanumujangu na wajenda kwa amara ya rajizat. 
I think we see people walking around with entrails gushed out. They eat everything. I hear that there are some nations where people eat humans. But when people have gushed out entrails, they eat everything. One of the measures of growing in the spirit it's something that happened to Gideon. When they came to the river, there were two positions. Some of them drank with their hands, and some of them drank with their from their hands. But those who drank from their hands, they would discern, see a worm. They would see a worm in the water. But if you... You have a train gushed out. Are we still here? God is going to bless you, but may you not lose your entrails. May you not lose your entrails. Try and be careful with it. Try and eat well. Long time ago, when we were still in the wilderness. They would come and ask you what would you okay, like to drink. And you would say whatever is available to drink. Because you fear that they might not even bring it. But may God come to our This year may you not lose your entrails. Yeah. And it became known all over Jerusalem. There are things you're going to see this year in this prophecy. This one is going to be People are going to obey God and obey God And people who obey God are going to be blessed. Amen, amen. Somebody say amen. There are people that are just genuine. Since you have salvation, why don't you even be genuine? Yes, Amen. All people that Do you know I'm talking about you the upper room? This is information from the upper room. No, 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 no. And then the disciples. The disciples. Gave two men. And they said these two men. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, Matthias. But then the uh, they they, they uh, ran uh, yeah. <laughs> something that fell on Matthias. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they cast what? And Matthias was chosen. They cast their lots, yes. They cast their lots and, uh, and it fell on Matthias. They were two, but the lots fell on Matthias. May the lots fall on you these days. This is what I want to Pentecost say. Pentecost did not come before the 12 people were filled. Some people uh, distract you from the The Bible says that God knows even the hair on your hair. There are people that disregard you as if you're nothing. But you're something. Pentecost only came until the, after the 12 were filled. So the number 12 was a prophetic number. So they replaced Judas with Matthias. And it was full. After that number was full, so they were all in the same place. In one accord. But praying in one accord, it had to come from a disorderly way into an orderly way. We prayed in this in disorderly way in the name of being in one accord. There is truth that we lack. People are hypocritical. People don't seek the truth. The Bible says that the time has come for those who seek the Father, yeah. they should seek them, Him in the Spirit and in truth. But this word truth, they kept it somewhere. Yeah. 
They are dodging each other. Hallelujah. Uh, people are destroying others. Here, Peter is not the one who appointed Matthias. But they had to report their CVs. Uh, in the kingdom of God, you need CVs as well. Let me tell you the CV they looked at. They did not say all the people. They said the two people among the Levites. Imagine choosing Matthias. Why did they choose Matthew? They say that since John the Baptist was baptizing people until Jesus died, Matthias was there. Matthias was there. Look at your neighbor and tell them God knows how you persevered. But even while you dodged, I was there. Some people are in the house of God and they think they are playing pastors. You're playing yourself. God knows why you're here. I'm starting, I'm starting. Hallelujah. If you came in the house of God looking for offerings, God knows. Will you love on me? If you came to seek after other things, God knows. He looks from the beginning and he, he sees the end. In between. But in between, <laughs> he lets you be. But he releases you. you. And then he waits for you at the end. God has a final. I, I don't know what God, the relationship between God and soccer. I wish Hallelujah. I could call Papa uh, there is a team that knows they've already won. But just in a split second. Hallelujah. Just in a split second. A change. And they deny it. I know a who, who As they, they deny certain things and then they go to VAR. And they see the replay. How many like the replay? It comes back. And they are like, hmm. They are denying it, but when they see the replay, then, hmm. uh, we are lost. So, you are lost. Fake. So when you start faking the, in, in things of God, God brings a replay. So you need to be true even in your weakness. Be true to God. God loves the weak people that continue. But God hates hypocrites that qualify themselves. Mm. Touch your neighbor and tell them today is the so upper room. room. So in the upper room, Peter explained Judas in detail without editing. There was no exaggeration. So this year you need a person. montage You need to relieve the exaggerations from the girls that are in the upper and you're sharing with them. And the other ones are on your on your You're taking selfies so with them. And you're having a picture with them. You need to wash, to be targeted. Hallelujah. You one thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, ashime. Glory to Jesus. Yes, ashime. Glory to Jesus. I can see you here. Let's applaud God. The things of Judas, my dear. I'm still introducing. Things of Judas. He explained it in detail. Judas. Judas. David, when the Holy Spirit came upon him, he proclaimed uh, information about Judas. Do you hear this? He explained it. He explained it. He talked about how this person became greedy. But all the people of Jerusalem know. So he needs replacement. This year, this is what's going to happen. We are going to have substitutes. 
I hear the word says the inheriting or taking over. This, this year Judas. Judas. Judas in your family. Do you know Judas? One of, one of the things that show Judas, they, they peck you, they are smiling, but in their hearts they are dying. This is in the sound Pentecost. So for the sound of Pentecost to come there was order in the upper room. I hope that in the house of God there would be order. I wish that in the house there would be order. I wish that in the house of God there would be order. For order. For them to, to show that there was no uh, favoritism. There, there was no shortcut. From the time John was baptized until the time Jesus died, Jesus, he was here. He was with us. He walked with us. He walked with Jesus. In the miracles he performed, he was there. He can witness. He's not double-minded with Jesus. He won't say, I love him and hate him at the same time. He won't say he performs miracles and then say he doesn't. We trust him. We have a, a testimony of him because of his loyalty. Loyalty is something. Loyalty. Uh, being disloyal is something bad. Being disloyal. When you're loyal, you're faithful to that person or even to God. But when you're disloyal, you have the spirits of Judas and Absalom at the same time. Absalom looked at his father David, toiled and so tired. And someone called Ahithophel told him, your father is tired. We can see his tired. Are the advisors, the counsel of Ahithophel, he give it and he saw God was speaking. I'm going somewhere. The miracles God is yet to perform here. He wants to do it and there are miracles indeed. So Absalom. Isophel told him you should go suddenly. When he's exhausted, because he's exhausted. You know what Isophel did? Because he, was, he wasn't faithful like Matthias was. He combed his hair. And I imagine him wearing, wearing jeans. Absalom. Absalom. He had good hair. He was a hunk. Eh? He was so handsome. Things that, oh. So fit, I stood somewhere. People who came to sacrifice in Jerusalem. I'm telling you this because some people would have met you last year, they never came. But they met with Absalom. And they could not come. This year they are coming to you. He told them, don't bother. Bring, bring it all here. The old man is too old. The spirit of Absalom. Spirit of disappointing, breaking your father's hearts. Are we together? I want to require of you one thing. I know you're my friend. Please don't be a disappointment. Even though you don't upload me, I'll share it. Don't be disloyal. Uh, avoid something where someone can rely on you. And, and you end up being a disappointment to them. Yet you're the only one they relied on. I want to tell you whatever we sow, we shall reap. 
I remember I used to go and pray. Mfite ibintu by'abantu bangambariye. Natwara ginginga indengera imbere y'Imana. Ngabamana ko nta muntu nagambaniye. I had things of people who had betrayed me and I said, God, I've never betrayed someone. Why are And God will heal them. Somebody say, may God take away the spirit of betrayal. You will never be betrayed. Hallelujah. Even the upper room when things were in order, they were sitting together in one accord. They were sitting together in one accord. In Acts of Apostles 2. When the Pentecost was fully calm, they were all together in one accord. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. This sound you are going to encounter. It requires you to be in the upper room. You cannot have an original, genuine sound without a sound from heaven. And this sound from heaven comes to the upper room. It doesn't come outside the upper room. That's why we need to be in the upper room. The voice came from heaven and came to that room. Are we reading? Uh, it was a sound and a rushing mighty wind from heaven. Yeah, a sound of a rushing mighty wind. wind. Mighty wind, rushing wind. Mm. Uh, rushing wind. It came from heaven. It was a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Which means everyone in, among them was affected. I pray that everyone who came in this prayer will encounter that mighty wind. And there appeared to them divided tongues on every one of them. Tongues of fire. And it came and sat on each one of them, including you. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And began to speak with other tongues. It's very hard today. When you're not speaking about supermarkets, people don't say amen. So there's a mighty wind from heaven. People are filled by the Holy Spirit. Started speaking in other tongues. And Mm. and they spoke those tongues as the spirit gave them utterance they spoke as the spirit gave them utterance this is the starting of the sounding miracle this is the beginning of sounding miracles from this very day, this very day while they were in the upper room after this happened things changed I'll tell you what happened People were quiet, spoke. Peter himself. Who was hiding among maid servants. He was hiding among servants. Peter was outside, outside in the courtyard. He was outside uh, in the courtyard with, with, with maid servants. A maid servant came to him. And told him, isn't it you? Imagine being an apostle. And you're back in the courtyard. Talking with maid servants. Slave girls. Slave girls. Those were the people that were talking to Peter. But the God who doesn't let go of the promise of someone. That person that was wandering around. We see him here. He's preaching and 3,000 people got saved. These guys have been wondering, but they will see something and they will say there is God. Tell your neighbor that God forgives. God truly forgives. He forgives, he doesn't even bring back the past. And God gives his mercy. And when he brings back his mercy, he brings back his miracles. So may this year God bring back his miracles. May God touch your life and you notice that he's touching your life. So what started happening since that day? Miracles started happening. Miracles started happening. Miracles happened. 
One of the first miracles is salvation to people. I know that there are very few fans of salvation. But among the miracles we need this year, we need salvation of people. We need people to be saved. What can you gain? Sleeping in that big house. And you have a husband who is always drunk like and hungover. Let's pray for them to be saved. What gain can we get? If your children are going to go to America for studies, and, and they go, when they come back home, they go to the island. I, I tell you, the first sounding miracle was salvation for people. What gain is it? If you grow old and you grow old without any identity, you grow old without knowing who you are, you grow old uh, or just uh, smoking. God wants to give salvation. In the upper room, it bursts salvation for people. They bust salvation for people. I'm here, I'm going to Salvation is good. Salvation is integrity. Sal there is nothing as good as salvation. Salvation takes someone who's a street kid and they become an evangelist. Amen. Salvation. Take someone who was Peter. Bakaroba. Uh, fishermen, fishermen. And they become an apostle in Jerusalem. This man would not have become an apostle in Except for salvation. But salvation, my God. Uh, people that were 120. They became 3,000 on soul. I'll tell you there was multiplication. This year is not a year of addition. It's a year of multiplication. It's a year of multiplication on our lives. You're going to see people get saved. We are going to go back to the time of the We are going to go back to the time of revival. We are going to see revival calling upon people. They will call you and they want you to, to lead them in a prayer of salvation. We, we are going to lose out. We are, going to, we are going to make those places, the businesses of sin, lose. They are going to lose this year. I'll not fear. They are going to lose this year. Where our children have Where our spouses are, we are going to, they are going to lose as well. I'm sorry to say, we need the upper room. We need the upper room. You need the upper room. You need the upper room. Uh, you need the upper room. You cannot spend all 10 years without a job. You need the upper room. Uh, you need to reduce the cassava. We need the upper room. This is the room. Girls that went there. They, they, they went there with folded feet. And they met hunks there. And they would wonder why did he fall in love for her? She went to the upper room. And the man said no there is no other one. We saw that happen. People don't look at the outer beauty. They look at the beauty of the spirit. I want to hear you say hallelujah. It's not about lipstick. It's not about well-plated hair or something. It's not about the earrings. It's not about education. It's not about education. That added values. But salvation. Salvation brings a beautiful incense. A beautiful incense. Salvation adds us years of life. It adds years of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says he will satisfy us with life. Satisfy us with yes. long life. He will satisfy us with long life. 
He will not just give us long life. Is that what satisfaction me long life? He will give us satisfaction in the long life. Apo mwa say amen. Satisfaction me long life. Satisfaction in long life. Hari abantu bari hi myaka myinshi 80 ndandi ariko bari bana bona ibibazo gusa. There are people who have lived 80 Ariko years without satisfaction. But he will satisfy us. Is that to has He will satisfy us in the long life. Ntabwo tuzarama ngo turebe ibyago. We shall have long life to see the works of the Lord. That's the one of the first sounding miracles. Peter preached. He just preached Jesus. I love you. He just preached Jesus. He said the one you crucified. You cannot preach like that and people get saved. You are standing in, in front of people crucified him. And he said, that man you, you crucified. If it was me that you are preaching to. And I tell you the one that you, you crucified. You, you know he said it because it was the word of God. And people were pierced in their hearts with conviction. And they started asking between each other that very day sounding miracle. And they started asking between themselves, men, brethren, what should we do? These are not things that people can live here. But these days people come and they go. But they remained. They said, men and brethren, what should we do now? These are not things to live just like that. Two. That was addition of people. Somebody said, God is going to add on me even more. I want to hear you say it. Addition of people. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, there were 2,000. In chapter 4, there were about 4,000 people. It wasn't, they weren't reducing. In, in chapter 3, there was a miracle. These miracles also have a very sound of Pentecost. All of these miracles came from the sound of Pentecost. They came from the upper room. In, in, in chapter 3, Peter and John, in one accord. Today, the church needs to be in one accord because of being in the upper room. They were in one accord. The power of God came from their hands, uh, from their blood into their eyes. Because of the upper room. They saw the man who was lame or, uh, at the church. They told him, gold and silver we have none. Uh, may we all say that we have that in these days. They don't want to say it. For us, we have even the gold and silver. We could not say that we don't have it for us these days. But for them, they said, gold and silver, we have none. But look at us. There are things that will encounter you this year. You will encounter something, you look at it, and it will answer to you. Some people say, God has given me this. You've not even visited Akagera. You've not even visited Akagera. And you're saying, God has given me a zero kilometer vehicle. God has given you a vehicle and you don't even have a provisional driver's license. Are we joking? If you believe in a prophecy, you need to implement everything you require. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These men were charged from the upper room. I can see them at the gate of the I, I don't have pockets on me. They said you don't have gold and silver. But look at us. They said look at us. Just look at us. There are things we are going to receive in our eyes. 
We're going to receive from your eyes. You're going to see things and understand. You see things that will answer to There you. are things there you see to you and they will answer. There are things you see to you and they will answer to you. Somebody say amen. He stood up. And he also went to the church. Because he was at a beautiful gate of a church. But because of the sounding miracle of Pentecost. He also still sat in church very happy. Somebody say miracle. Who want to meet the miracles of Pentecost? Should I continue? Dorcas Yazuchihe. Where was Dorcas raised? Dorcas Yazuchihe. Where was Dorcas raised? The miracles of this year. Some people, it's like they are dead. But they are going to see God again. Yeah. Some people are Thank God they did not bury her. Even though things have killed me, I'm not yet buried. Tell your neighbor you haven't been buried yet. Fear not if you have not been buried. The good thing they did for her, they took her to the upper room. They took her to the upper room. And that was so good of them. Look at what happened. Because they sent on Peter from the upper room. Verse 39. People who are going to be weeping for you are there. Some people are always weeping for you, but you wonder whether you'll have an answer from them, but you couldn't. They, they cry. Some people go and cry. They don't give support even for oh, we went to the same school. We grew up together. They are crying. The, wi the, widows that, the widows that you weaved clothes for, they will cry. But they will not raise you. But in the upper room, you will be raised there. I pray that as you are in the upper room, everything that was dead in our lives will be raised. Verse 39. They were showing the tunics and garments. They show the garments. And tunics Dorcas had made for them when she was still with them. You may be called Dorcas. But you shall know that from the garments that you have made for people. This woman Peter told them to go out, all of them. And he knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body in the upper room, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. She opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, you need to be people of God. When she saw Peter, she sat up. <laughs> there are people you walk with and they wake you up. There are people you're with and they wake you up. And there are other people that keep you asleep. This year may God keep away people that keep you asleep. May God bring people that meet you and you wake up. Verse 39. Verse 39. 
the upper room should I say that the last supper of Jesus was in the upper room? I'm just introducing. Was it in the upper room? I believe it's in Matthew or Mark. Yes, it's in Matthew. Yes, it's in Matthew. Luke 22, 12. The same as Mark 14, 15. And he himself will show you a larger upper room, furnished and ready, prepare for us there. Wubge, as I will kichumba chigari, chohejuru. Chitunganyi. Sizu kuna vuga furnished. Gitunganyi. Giteguye, kandi mudu teguri raho. Aho woni Yesu mudutegurire aho Aho mudutegurira muri cyo cyumba cyo hejuru It's in that upper room where you prepare everything Niho turi burire That's where we shall have Ariko mudutegurire You should prepare for us Ikini cyumba gitegura abakozi This is a room that prepares work Ikini cyumba gitegura ibyo uzageraho It's a room that prepares you for what you are yet to achieve Nabisuko hano harimo abantu bagiye kujya mu ngendo bagiye kujya mu bindi bihugu uyu mwaka uzarangira bafite ahandi hano bari I know there are people here who will be traveling to other nations Ariko ahantu giye kugenda ndumva nakubwira ngo ukeneye cyumba cyo hejo But wherever you're going I want to tell you you need the upper room Yeah Mariko 14 ni kimwe Mark 14 Yeah abami ba mbere 17 ndi 19 nihuta First Kings uh, 12, 19. Uh, first Kings 17, 19. Uh, first Kings 17, 19. He said to, to her, give me your son. Then he took him uh -huh, for her bosom, carried him to, uh, to the upper room. Yeah. Amen. 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 He took him. He took him. And told him, receive your son. And, it, and she took him to the upper room. Where he dwelt. Where he stayed. This is where Elijah was staying. Elijah, where was staying? And he put him or him in, the in the upper room, Elias, Elijah stayed there. That's why Elijah stayed. Yeah. Uh, Second Kings 4.10. They said, build us a house in, uh, on the upper side. Yeah. And put a bed for us. Put a bed for us. Let, put their bed. Yeah. It was a bed that they were going to put for Elijah. Yeah. Put for him a bed. Put for him a table. Put their chair for him. Put their a lampstand. Yeah. Uh, these four things. He laid them there. She did not know that she was going to have her own child. It was just being kind. But she didn't know that the upper room she's built in her home is the cover of their home. Whatever you'll achieve, somebody say amen. Whatever you'll achieve. May God give you a covering. She said, this man of God who always passes here. We should build a room and upper room. We should build a small room up there. She felt like it was something small. Brethren, the upper room we need these days is in our heart. After she had done it, she said, let's put a bed for him. Let's put a table for him. Let's put a chair for him. And let's put a lamp for him. Uh, whenever she, he comes, it's a bed um, there. That day, that room went in the home. The Lord visited the room of that woman. Somebody said the upper room gave them a child. Who wants to receive a miracle this year? 
Uh, the upper room Yo, brought a lot of marvelous things. They had a son. And then that son uh, fell sick. And he even Ariko died. But he was raised in the same ni upper room. It's a room that kids are born. But it's a room things that are dead will be raised. There are two people in this service. There are people who want to birth. And there are people who want God to raise things that are dead in them. Uh, in the upper room, it's not just for God. But even those things that are raised are raised in the upper room. I want to say you'll be raised in the upper room. Why am I sharing this? God is going to do miracles in your life. But people will, will, will be there waiting for you to die. Or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People will be there waiting for you to die. People will be asking. What you achieve? What tells you to be sustained? You tell people that you got favor. And they will say, what, what will sustain your favor? You tell them the room that burst it. Is the room that will raise it. It will raise it. I don't fear. People that say I have days to be done. I said the things God has started he has started it. He will start it. He started it in six He will uh, uh, prove the one who paid those loans. He will do it again. He will get the best one. We will sustain it. Ah, we will sustain it. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. This woman had a very sacred secret. She, uh, she put a bed no, in the room. She, she did not want a God that visits her. She wanted God that dwells in her home. You need God that comes and dwells with you. You wonder whether it happens. You ask the carriers. He was a very short man. But he was so tall in the heart and in spirit. Tell your neighbor that he was tall in, in the heart and in wisdom. The, the problem is not the height. It's not knowing your height. But this man, Jesus slept at his home. They met and he said, no, I won't leave you here. He did not request Jesus to sleep yes, at his house. But Jesus looked at him and, him and said, today, 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 I'm sleeping at your house. Today, you did not require me, but I'm sleeping at your house. Today, you will know that there are children who are I'll ask you have, you, have you gone up? In these 21 days, you are going up. It's like climbing the tree. Yeah? Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, climbing, climbing the tree. Uh, you're, you're, you're practicing. And you're, you're, you're climbing the tree. And you're and you're, you're also in business. What is the business here? You left your business and you came you to sit here. Here. You think God will leave you just like that? He's going to do things for you. Just because you climbed. He said, I'm, I'm sleeping at your place. Which meant the bed of Zacharias. Jesus slept on it. You don't need that Jesus that visits you. You need Jesus in the upper room. Two. She put a table. I want to share this. Ask your neighbor, do you want the upper room to see sounding miracles? That table, should I share this? Is sharing. There are people Jesus blesses. And he sees them again when they have lost out in their business. I want to tell you, if you want sustained development and growth, you need to share your blessing with Jesus. How many are still with me? Just tell yourself, the money I'm going to give to have, I'll share it with Jesus. Are you ready? 
reka nkubwire ntacyo bitwaye ni utabikora kwa ari wanyira amafaranga yose even though you don't do it he has all the money in the world ariko unoda shiri meza mu cyumba cyawe hejuru niba ngo mu mutima wawe ukavuga kuti mana nzasangira nawe if you don't put a table in your heart and say lord i will always share with you anything ndumva mbakumbuye reka mbabwire akabuka feel like i miss you Kevin ko uri mu mwuka cyane Umva umva rata Listen Yesu yabwiye Petero Jesus told Peter Abantu baramusanze batanya kugira Yesu ngo ngo sobuje ajye yishura imisoro ngo ni Yesu bavugaga kandi bakamuvuga yumva They were telling uh, uh, has your master paid the taxes Jesus was hearing them Abantu bagira urugambo bavuga Yesu People are backbiting on Jesus Does he pay uh, taxes Yes arabyumva Jesus heard it. It was an embarrassment. He said Peter. Go to the Sea of Galilee. It's just like telling them go to Beka. Go to the Sea of Galilee. Hanyuma, if uri bubone ubwambere, the first fish you will get. Uyafate. Take it. Uyasamure. And open the mouth. Hanyuma urakuramwo sita. You, you get money from them from the it's money hallelujah and get the money from that fish listen to what jesus did in accordance with the table in the upper room he said take it take money and get the money it was a 50 50 a half of it is for me and half of it you pay it for me and for you the half of it is for me and for you ndashaka utekereze abantu bice hano babona gose bari bora bitekereza think about it i can see people biraboneka ko mutarabagugu biraboneka ko mutarabagugu ko muri umura bitekereza i can see all thinking about it ndashaka kuvuge ngo ni wasamura amafaranga mwifi uzayasangira na Yesu kwita kuri table ye ask yourself if you get the, the money from the fish will we share it with Jesus at the table ese nubona umwana mwiza ukamubyara If you have a child a beautiful or handsome child would you be like Hana and share your child with Jesus or will the child be just yours or you just say uh, I'm breastfeeding I don't need to, to even go to church if God gave you a husband and he serves God and he gets it. Will you share your husband with Christ? Hari umugore yigeze kuza twajya dusengera mu gawa kizwe yarananiranye. None we mugaza gukizwa. We used to pray for her husband to get saved. And he got saved and, the, and then he wanted to serve God today is a pastor. Aravanga ibyo navugaye na Yesu ibintu birimo. And then the woman said whatever I talked to Jesus this was not part of the deal. And then I wondered do you want him to just stay in the bars or do you want him to serve God? If he was still there maybe he would have died. Why don't you let him be for Jesus and you share him with him? Oh if a pastor I had avoided this disgrace. But today the husband is a pastor. And God has blessed him even in business. And their marriage is doing okay. I want you to ask your neighbor will you share with Jesus? This woman put a table in the upper room. Three. She put a chair somebody said a chair oh my god urashaka igitangaza muri uyu mwaka do you need a miracle this year hayes intebe give jesus a chair apana ibintu byo gufata ngo witire ibintu muhi intebe you don't need to take credit for anything give jesus the chair umubwire ngo ibintu giye gukora icyubahiro ni cyawe tell him everything you will do the glory is yours icyanyuma itabaza and then lastly the lampstand namasengesho prayer icyanyuma ni kuvanga ukakane 
the fourth lampstand. Prayer. A home without a lampstand is a home without prayer. I used to dream darkness and then I wondered I was a baby in salvation I went to the pastor and asked why do I dream darkness always uh, do you need lights and yet they did not have prayer in the church but when I grew I learned that that person was not Hello? praying. I learned that they were not praying. You need a lampstand. You need a lampstand in your home. You need a lampstand this year. You need a lampstand in the company. You need a lamp in everything you do. I feel like praying for people God is speaking to me about. Sinzi. It's going to be hard. There are several things that will happen. But it will all find you in the upper room. You will be hidden. I hear the word that says, after you've eaten and you're filled up, you should not forget the Lord your God. You shouldn't forget what he has done. This key was an introduction because it's a very big key. We need the upper room. It's a place where you go when the bones are beginning to dry out and you feel refreshment in your bones. piano. You'll excuse me and we take just a moment and you pray for your heart. We need the upper room. Jesus sent the disciples in a room that is already furnished. You're not going to that room. To be just isolated there. No. It's going there to be an awesome person. It's for you to be a person that will transform lives. Somebody pray wherever you are. Take a moment and let's pray together. Where you're seated, whatever position you feel comfortable with. There are people. God is opening their wombs. 